Hello. Hi, Eric. Good evening. Hello. Hi, Eric. Good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. Doing good. And you? Good. Uh, feeling inspired with the rain. Oh, yeah. What about you? I got, we got a rain here in Cincinnati also. <gasps> really? Wow. Yeah. So I guess it's. It started raining. about, the, yeah, maybe in the whole country. Uh huh. Maybe it's, it's, it's national, right? So. It's raining yeah. all in our nation, okay? All around our nation. Okay. So you Here in Sosonate, it started at 15 minutes ago. Aha. Uh -huh. Likewise here, it started approximately like an hour ago, huh? It started. Oh, okay, it so. Yeah, it was raining super hard, like cats and dogs. Yeah, like, like here. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, you're right. So you live in Sosonate. Where in Sosonate do you live? I live here in, in next to Sonsonate in a place called Naulingo. Naulingo, oh yeah. It is a small town. It is, it is a small town near to mm -hmm. the bus station now, inter, interdepartmental, I think. My father spoke to me a lot about Naulingo because he used to work with guys. So he used to travel to Naulingo. I think they have a, like a place there um, for storing water, right? Yeah, yeah, there, there's a place for that mm -hmm. here. Okay, yeah, he would tell me that, okay. Wow, is Sonsonate a hot place to live or not really? Or it's it not is, as hot as San Salvador? No, it is a really hot place to live, I guess. Well, it's not like if you're living in Acajutla, <laughs> but here in Naulingo, it's a, little, it's a little bit hot, but you can <laughs> get refreshed under the trees. Yeah, if you have trees. Oh, okay, great. Okay, yeah. super. Ovidio, good evening. Pablo, good evening. How are you guys? How was your day so far? Good evening. Good evening. Today it was very, no, it's busy. Busy day? It's busy. raining. Right now. Is it in, raining? In, yes, in, yes, in my my home is is raining right now okay super super okay pablo good evening how are you good evening teacher, good evening, um, teacher. i'm fine i think i am a little tired because i was in my work since 7 a.m oh yeah because i was having problems with my computer as i said Yesterday, I think, mm -hmm. yes. but everything is good right now. It is raining here too, and okay. I am on, on my break right now. Um, okay. I think I am tired, but I am really happy because I am not gonna work again in in the on the site. Jo I am gonna do just home office. Home office. So I'm very yeah. Super, thank you, wow. Well, I'm happy that you guys are, are refreshing yourselves. You know, the weather is getting better. We're going to have a good night's sleep because it's raining all over San Salvador, right? Right now. Yeah. Yes. So it's going to refresh our environment. Sara, good evening, how are you? Fine, and you teacher, how are you? Super, happy because it's raining. So my plants are going to get better tomorrow. They're going to wake up better tomorrow. Oh. Because today was a uh, hot day. Uh, it's, it's, it's great. I know. So, coquetators, today we're going to be talking about gestures, okay, and feelings. So, we're going to go over a little presentation, and you're going to tell me when do you usually feel the way we feel when we're doing certain gestures, okay? So I'm going to share with you a presentation. <clears throat> and we're going to get started. I think we have seen some of the slides before and perhaps in another intermediate. The presentation is called Can You? But I'm relating the images and the gestures from this presentation to the way we can feel and why we feel this way. 
So for example, let's go with the first one. More than an ability, why do you think we frown? Why do people frown? Why do you, we do this? Why do we do that? What's the reason we do this? Tell me. When, when we are worried about something or when we are thinking about something which is not uh, cool, which is worried or which is a problem, for example, and we are thinking in what is, what is the thing that we are going to do. Okay. Uh-huh. It's true. Mm -hmm. What other reason or in what occasions do you see yourself frowning? Hmm. Something like that. Sarah, Eric, Ovidio, what about you guys? When do you frown? We call it in Spanish, fruncir la cara. Uh -huh. Why do you frown? I, I guess the, I do that when my girl is disappointing me. <laughs> when my girl disappoints me, okay? When my daughter disappoints me, that's when you frown. Hmm. Yes, okay. My, my lovely daughter. <laughs> Your cooking but monster. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> and she's sitting at cooking in this moment. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Eric and Ovidio. When do you frown? I think uh, we frown when we get uh, bad news from home or from uh, mm -hmm. relatives. Okay. Yes. When we are worried, when we receive a bad news, when we're frustrated, when there's nothing we can do, right? When we feel there's nothing we can do, we frown, okay? When we, when we, when we do, do not have goals. Mm -hmm. I frowned, I will give you an example of my recent frown. I frowned when I saw at Twitter that the cases in El Salvador went to 105. Uh, that's pretty, I frowned, that's really I was worried. Yeah, I was worried because the majority of cases were in San Salvador, so you get worried if they are local right where you live but for example if if you're not part of the list like you start looking is it santa tecla soya pango so if you do not appear on the list you feel you know in a way happy and satisfying calm but when you see that the you know that your a town is on the list then you get worried especially when the number starts going up right the numbers start going up so i i frowned when I read that Twitter about 105 cases one day, I don't remember one, but it was like a couple of days ago. So that's the reason I'm proud. So I was really worried. Okay, very good. Ovidio, when do you frown? When, when I, I am frustrated. When you're frustrated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and when I, when I, uh, 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 but when I read a, a bad news. Mm -hmm. When you read a bad news. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. Okay, let's go with the next one. Frown. This is frown. What about when do people make faces? I don't know how to make faces. I'm really bad at making faces. But when we when we have uh, some fun, when we when we got some fun with somebody else. <laughs> when, when you're when you're joking, when, the teaser, yes. when you're joking with someone, uh, huh? or when you're talking with a baby. <laughs> yeah, I have noticed that when you have little kids around, you tend to make faces to them. I don't know why, right? As we we tend to make faces to them for them to start, you know, like <laughs> I don't know. Or yes. uh, um, we can talk like a baby. Oh, it's so really a little baby. Oh, no, no, no. It's and true. And you make the face. The faces will go along with your voice, right? Yes, it is. True. Yes, it's true. Okay, very good. Um, let's go ahead and check out the next one. When do you clench your teeth? It's to put your teeth together. And, uh, when do you clench them? It's to move your teeth when? with friction. We are irritated. Irritated. When 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 we feel ourselves nervous, for example, uh, uh -huh. in my case, when I uh, put a a fork or, or a 
or a spoon in between my teeth, I I feel myself nervous and oh, I do that. Yeah. Or also when people scratch the walls, like oh, they do yeah. that. Or, or with, with durapaks. Oh, yeah, oh. you're right. The material, when, when they start scratching. Yeah. Or another another example is when uh, when a microphone makes uh, some annoying yeah sound. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. So yeah, so people get so you do it when you get nervous because of a particular sound, right? Or because yeah, that's you're like I hear sound feedback. Aha, uh -huh, when you have like sound feedback, very good. When, when else, you do something something wrong. Also, it's true. Like, uh, you hold back like anger. You can also trench. Uh, or when you want to say something and then you contain yourself and you don't say it and you, you just like you want to say something but then you're like filter 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 right and then you stop it and you don't say anything so yeah it's true that also happens now you screw up <laughs> uh-huh exactly before you say something that you're not supposed to say so that's when you retain yourself and you clench your teeth mm -hmm. you do it. also i have noticed that people do this when they taste something that is a sour for example something with a lot of lemon or something with they tend to like mm -hmm. or or get chills or when for example something happens to your teeth when mm -hmm. you have a cavity or you tend to do that when you know like when uh, i don't know i think in spanish it's called a uh, destemplado uh, ah yeah, yes yes, yes. Uh -huh. so when you get that sensation when something's really sour or something's really bitter or something i don't know like a strange sour to it right so that's sometimes when you tend to clench your teeth too okay good 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 let's go with our next one when do you grin green green is to smile but showing your uh. teeth <laughs> Joker. Green, green evil. green evil. <laughs> okay when you're uh. evil when you hmm, uh-huh what else when, when do you I, grin when do people grin when we play a joke to a friend and that friend uh, realize that we are we are messing it up with with him we're messing with him i think him okay for example when <laughs> or in other case when we when we see something funny or when we, I don't know, when when we are planning something bad for, for another person. <laughs> when you're yes. planning something, aha, you agree, like, <laughs> like <you're being> <laughs> I love that as well. Uh -huh. You're being a little bit evil, like the Joker. But you also agree, people agree when they're hypocrite. Do you yes. know what hypocrite is? It's like you don't mm -hmm. want to smile to somebody and you're forced to. You don't like that person or you don't like something. Oh, for example, yeah. you take flor de sote, just to give you an example. And then they would serve you that and you're like, mm, delicious. And you're like, you, you really don't like it, right? You're not really yeah. into oh, they'll have it or la roque. I don't know, something that you dislike. I don't know. Tell me that. Mm -hmm. Tell me a food that you would dislike and you would green to. For example, in my case, Pacayas or flor de sote? I would green to that. Me. What about you? The, how can I say? How can I say whiskey in English? There's actually no word for it. It's whiskey. Hmm? Well, I bet, oh, well, <laughs> I don't like that. that okay, so you you would green it. cocktail. Ah, okay. O oysters. 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 You would green. Okay. Um, I, I hate that. No. Okay, so anybody else? Anything else? Nobody flor de sote or pacayas here, no? No. Okay. I dislike to teacher. <laughs> Aha! You dislike them too? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you would grin. It's like that face like, I don't like it, but I'm going to eat it, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, in, this case, in this case, I do this smile when I try to eat sopa de patas. <gasps> really? Oh, that's true. Yeah. I don't <laughs> like. like I don't like. And usually, but I, I feel that this is um, 
well, on one hand, that is very common, but on the other hand, also when people that are around you that you really don't like them that much and they say something to like oh you know nice earrings or oh you look good today and you're like yeah thank you uh-huh <laughs> you smile like that so it we also grin for that so for something evil when sometimes we try not to be hypocrite or we're forced to or when we're forced to like something a food that we just dislike okay so that's when we grin like the joker okay that's next beautiful. one Bite your nails. When do you bite your nails? Or what's the reason we bite our nails? <laughs> when I feel nervous. Okay, when you feel nervous? Uh -huh, nervous? Okay. Nervous. I know that kids do it too, right? What, do you think it's it being nervous or is it anxiety? Or some people do it too all the time. Or it's a bad habit. What do you guys think? I don't Sometimes. have any nails. <laughs> you don't have nails, okay. Okay. No. Sometimes when we are waiting for a for a for a new or for a surprise or something like that, when we are waiting for something and we are nervous about it, we're expecting an answer or we're waiting for a yeah. response, like you're saying, uh huh? And or we're waiting. If you are waiting your date in some place or something. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe you're gonna be nervous and you're gonna do that. Okay, yeah, you're right. So you usually well, do it when you're nervous. Uh -huh. When your team is is losing the the game. Huh? <laughs> when you're watching a soccer match, you check maybe not like eat your fingers. I'm sorry, eat your nails, but you're like this, right? Like and you touch your and it's true, that's another one. I should have added that one. The the fact that you're like waiting and you're like with your hands like this expecting so it's like an expectation face right so yeah that's a good one yeah. holding your face or holding your cheeks like your face going to fall down so yeah so some people are like this but some other people are like this uh -huh, it's true yeah. when you're expecting you're an expectation mm -hmm. okay very good let's go with our next one scratch your head when do you scratch your head when we have when a doubt. I feel frustrated. When you feel frustrated, when you have a doubt, okay. Mm -hmm. Doubt. Mm -hmm. When you are stressful. When you're stressed. When yeah. you're thinking too. Some people say like, like they. When we are planning something difficult. Uh huh. When you're planning, yeah. When you're like breaking your head, trying to think of a solution for something, yeah. right? We're like, I don't know what to do. And we tend to do that. I don't know what to do. What was I thinking? Da, da, da. So we tend to stretch our heads a lot. Uh huh. It's true. You're right. Okay. Let's go I with love that. I'm sorry? Okay. I love that. <laughs> Let's go with our next one. Pull on your tongue. When, when do we do that? Why do we do that? When do we stick our tongue out? Pull your tongue is when you do that. that. But when do we do it or why? Well, when we are I, kids. Yes. When we want to get someone angry. When we, yeah. when we, are, when we are kids and we, we want to, to, to be annoying with someone else. Okay, when do you want to be annoying? Are you still doing with... I, found some kids and I just joking with with them or playing with them me too I tend to do it with I and I do it I don't do it with kids I do it with teenagers a lot when I see a kid um, when I just when I have seen a kid very very small you know that I, I'm like and I feel so old when I see them like they're already at the university and I saw them playing soccer outside <laughs> my house right so it's like oh my god and you're at the university already you're working so it's like <laughs> I stick their tongue out all the time, like because in my head, for me, they're still kids, but I do it because I know they're teenagers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I still do it. So I confess, I still do it, and you do it in a friendly way. Not maybe not only sticking your tongue out. It all depends if you do it smiling or if you do it with creepy eyes, right? It all depends on your gestures too, on how you do it. If in the mood you are also, if it's going to be something good or something bad. 
in a bad way or in a good way, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with our next when, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry, Ovidio. Yes. Tell okay. Me. When something doesn't like it. Aha. Uh -huh. When you don't like something, you, yeah. you also mm -hmm. feel that. And it, it goes along with the ew, ugh, right? Like something. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true. You're right. That's a good one. I didn't think of that one. Okay, very good. Let's go with our next one. Why do people crack their knuckles? Why do they crack their knuckles? I when you feel that. nervous. Uh huh. Um, when I feel angry. When you feel angry, okay. Yes. When when you're about to start a fight, you tend to do it. Also. Yes. Yes. Right. When you're about to start a fight, a discussion, you're like, huh? Okay, let's. Yes, but I never desperate. fight. When I you're desperate, mm-hmm, very good. When you're also desperate, mm-hmm. What else? Or also as when a habit, some people stressed? have it as a habit. When people feel stressed or anxious, they have it as a habit too. Like doing this, they also do their their uh huh. Supposedly to take away the stress or to take away um, your anxiety. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Tap your feet. Or tap your hand too. Do that on, you know, to start doing sounds. When do we when I feel you, more? When do you uh, hear some um, funny music? Or... Uh -huh, and you want to go with the beat. To go with the beat. Yeah. Right, Okay, to go to go with the beat. Yes. Okay. In my case, I don't tap my feet. What I do is I move both of my feet. So sometimes if you see my computer when I'm talking and if you see all of a sudden it starts moving, it's because I move my feet a lot. Not that I'm desperate, but since of it because I'm very hyperactive. So for me being a teacher and sitting down, it's not working. If I had a studio and a camera, you would see me walking around, you know, and, and speaking. But I'm very hyperactive, so I I tend to move my feet a lot. Like I that, you. <laughs> that happened. That happened to me either. But most of the time is when we are when I am in front of the computer. Uh, I'm waiting for a call in my work, and sometimes it it happened that it could be thirty minutes, an hour, two hours, and I don't have any calls, so I get myself frustrated or nervous or something like that, and I start to do it too. Uh -huh. I know, right? Uh -huh. It happens too. When you're in a closed space or when you're waiting at the ISSS or you're waiting for something very long, it, you tend to get anxious too. So it's, in a way, it's like when you're desperate, in a way, when you start... When, when you are impatient. Impatient. Yes, when you're impatient, you start tapping your feet. Mm -hmm, it's true, tapping your feet. Very good. And also, like doing this, also you can snap your fingers also to the beat, and also you can do it with your feet, right? You can tap your hands or, or your feet when you're following the beat of a sound or a music, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Let's go with the next one. Twirl your hair. Even if you don't have, like, even if you have long hair, you kind of like do this to your to your small little hair. Uh -huh. When do people do this, or why do people do this? Twirl. It's twirl is hacerlo colocho, like to do this. That's to twirl your hair. Como hacer rizos. Uh -huh. Maybe when, when you want to flirt with someone else. Okay, when yeah. girl or someone wants to flirt, very good. Mm -hmm, maybe. What else? Or maybe when a girl is is, is bored because mm -hmm. when well I have a friend who, who do that when she's bored so okay and when she flirts she does too she, she does it too okay mm -hmm. yeah to relax or to take away stress do you think people can actually use it as well. Maybe. My sister did Maybe. it when she was a child for sleep. sleep. Mm -hmm. For ah to go to sleep to as a pacifier. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. it's a pacifier. Like when yes. you know little kids also stick their tongue in, right? And yes. To fall asleep. Okay. So she would do it with and some people I know some kids do it with the uh, pillows with the 
the pillow. They start doing this, uh -huh. but with the pillow, with a part of the pillow, not necessarily with the hair, but they can do it with uh -huh. the pillow, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, very good. So that's to twirl your hair. Cool. Okay, next, twirl. Um, let me write it down. Let me send it to the group. Just give me a minute. I'll send it to the group really quick. <clears throat> twirl. I, I'm sorry. Twirl. Like this. I'm going to write it in Spanish. Twirl. twirl. Like twirl. twirl. But fast. Twirl. 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 Like there's a double R maybe. Like twirl. Huh, more like twirl. 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 Uh -huh, so it's so, like enchufar so, or rizar. So, That's what it means. Sound so like a turtle. And you know what? I was going to tell you. It's very interesting. If you like pasta, if you like spaghettis, the tornillitos they sell mm -hmm. are called turtles too. So whenever mm -hmm. you look at them, look at the name. They actually say turtle. I don't know if it says in Italian because I know it's an Italian word for, you know, pasta oh. usually spaghetti like, and all that. Uh, Rizos. Ah, like rizos. Oh. Tornillos. Ah, the tornillos are turtles too. Mm -hmm. But for food. Okay, only for food. Okay, let's go with our next one. Wrinkle your nose. When do people do this? Not only when they have allergies. When do when they do you sniff, uh, sniff uh, a bad, um, a disgusting, uh, no. something no? disgusting. A smell, yes. a, lot, a smell, a disgusting smell. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. When you have allergies, to you, you tend to do this. Uh huh. Allergies, or also when you don't like something, you tend not only disagree for or someone. <laughs> when you disagree, very good. Disagree you, something. Uh -huh. When you disagree, you if tend you, to do that too. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit instant you have, before, you, before estornudar, but I don't know who they sneeze, say estornudar. Sneeze. Before you sneeze. I'm going to write it here. Before you sneeze. sneeze. When, you, when you have an allergy. When you have an allergy. Sneeze. 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 Uh -huh. That's to sneeze. When you have allergies. Also. When you, when you don't, don't want to do something. Mm -hmm. When you don't. Ah, okay. When you say, no, not right now. Uh -huh, it's mm -hmm. true. Oh, you want like to go to the park? When you forget something too. Yeah. Like, like that. Oh. Oops. Okay. Oh, like the, oh, like the little girl of the meme. The <laughs> meme girl. Oh, I don't My like mom? that. Yeah, like your mom told me that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that little girl. It's true. Or when you make fun of something, you're like, right? When you make fun of someone that you, what is it called? Oh. I forgot the word in Spanish. Um, like hacerle burla. Oh, yeah. And you're like, mm, and you tend to also wrinkle your mama, nose. Mama. Yeah, you're like, ah. so you wrinkle your nose also to, to make fun or to eh, remedar. Uh -huh. Remedar is a word. Uh -huh. Someone. So you like mock. In English, it's called mock. Remedar. I'll write it down. Mock. That's how you say mock. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. That's when you actually wrinkle your nose. Let's go with our next one. When do people wink? I think we have seen this in the past, but let's let's find out today. When do people make the wink? When do people wink? When you are successful in something. Very good. Super. When when something you did was awesome, right? It went yeah. just the way you want it. You're like, super. Mm -hmm. Very good. Some when else? girls do when, she are, when they are filtering. Flirting? Flirting. 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 Uh -huh. when some people do, do um, when, uh, I don't know how can I say, cuando quieren que le sigan en una mentira o en algo, en algo planeado. Yes, when they okay. want to go with the flow with a lie. Go with the flow. Go, uh -huh. okay. go with the flow. I'll write it down. Okay. Write it down. Okay. 
excellent. Go with the flow means seguirle la corriente. So when you want somebody to go with the flow, okay, so it's seguirle la corriente. Mm. Okay, something new. If you like something, if or if you are agree when when something. Okay. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. Very good. When you taste something and it's good, it's good. When you uh -huh. Uh -huh. when you say that was a very good choco banana, yeah. or that was a very good, I don't know, strawberry frozen. Something you liked, that was a very good dish. Or, I don't know, something you really enjoyed having. Very good, that's true. Mm -hmm. Also, like you're saying, you when you lie and you want the other person to go with the flow with you, you tend to say, we went to Pizza Hut yesterday, right? Remember? And we had, yeah. and you want the, oh, yeah, we did. Like those white lies, right? The white lies. Mm -hmm. So that's when people tend to wait. Let's go with the next one. When do people snap their fingers? When do they snap their fingers? Or why? How do they feel? What makes them feel? Are they angry? Are they desperate? When do they snap their fingers? When they are feeling the, the beat. Music beat. Uh -huh. When they're feeling okay. When change the way to the beat fast. Oh, Say that again? Quickly. Uh -huh. When they change their ideas quick, ah, when they want to express, hey, fast, fast, fast. Uh -huh. Move, move, move. Move, move, move. <laughs> so in a way, it's a, is it rude or is it nice to do it? Blanky? It depends that it's rude, I think. I think it's rude. It's like, yeah. mm -hmm. uh -huh, because it's like if you were looking down on people like, hey, fast, I want this done by yesterday or by now. I think it's it's rude. Now, but also people can snap without making the sound just doing this. For yesterday. Uh -huh, for yesterday. But some people can mm -hmm. also snap without making the sound. It's when they have money or they say something about money. So if you do this, uh -huh, you can say yeah. money without mm -hmm. snapping. But still, it's called or it's going to be called snap, okay? Okay. But it's just like this, okay. without the sound. So it's still, I snap my fingers, I feel money coming, for example, okay? I'm snapping my fingers. Or a tick, maybe. Or a tick, uh-huh. Because some people don't have, they just do this. I have seen people that they need to have something in their hands or they need to do something with their hands in order to, as a person, nervous. when they're nervous or when, or they just have to do something to move or to have a stress ball or something, but if they don't have anything in their hands, they tend to do it, or they tend to move their fingers like this. So yeah, it's, it's a common too. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, let's, let's do another one. Why do people roll their eyes like, oh, why do people do that? Like him. When, when they are disappointed. Mm -hmm. when when we, uh, here we go. When ah, someone annoys you, when tired of the same. Aha, uh -huh, when someone's tired about the same thing over and over. Oh, here we go again. Or when somebody lies. Oh, to I can you believe. Know that that person is uh -huh. lying. Yes. And you're like, uh huh, yeah, right. Uh -huh. And, and, oh, you can. And say, you know it's oh, lie. I can't believe when that. you know it's a lie, of course. Yes. <laughs> you're like, uh huh, uh huh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you tend to roll your eyes. Now, teenagers, I think that when you're at a very young age, if you have kids that are teenagers or preteens, they do this a lot to their parents, right? Like, oh, when, when you're telling your kids to uh, uh, clean up your room and wash the dishes and help in the house and don't be spending too much time on your cell phone, I don't know, study. I don't know. You're telling them something and your kids are oh, again and again. like they do that like oh my god here she goes again or here he goes again <laughs> so it's something also teens do a lot not to respond to their parents but i think it's also rude to actually roll your eyes to someone mm -hmm. okay very good um let's go with another one i think i, I don't know that was it so 
what was this guys was this feelings or was this gestures what do you guys think are I talking think his feelings and gestures it's gestures it's gestures gestures Gestures? I think it's gestures, but the gestures are because of, of a feeling. Because of a feeling, okay. I related yeah. with feeling. Mm -hmm. Gestures are the signs of the feelings. Uh huh. Very good. These are just the six, like the signals, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. These are the signals. So, topic four on the platform four point one. It's feelings and gestures. I want us to go over because like four of the different gestures we went over are here, but they go along with adjectives. Let's go ahead and look at them because we, I want us to do the exercise, okay? Hey, let's pay attention to the video, short video. And his nose. I'm sorry, I need to. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his feet. He's drilling his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. Okay, so with the ones, with the ones we saw previously, okay, um, when do you feel annoyed? When can you feel bored? When can you feel confused, frustrated, or impatient? Can you remember some of the gestures we went over? Let's go with the first one. Annoyed. When do you feel annoyed, guys? Use one of the examples from the presentation. When you rolling your eyes. Okay. When you roll your eyes. Very good. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about bored? When can you feel bored? When you, you tap your, your foot? When you tap your foot or when you tap something, right? You tap something. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. What about confused? When can you feel confused? When you scratch your, your hair, maybe. Okay. How when you... Yeah, it's true. You can feel confused when you scratch your face like, hmm. Was it today? Maybe yesterday? I don't remember. So when you're confused, you tend to uh, scratch. Or, or when uh, do you know how do you do shoes? Uh huh. Okay. Very good. Like when you're like, should I pick green or red? Should I go with black or white? So whenever you don't know where to go, uh huh. When you're confused about a decision or an option, you also do that. How uh -huh. you feel confused? What about frustrated? What about frustrated? You crack your knuckles. Very good. When you crack your knuckles. Mm -hmm. Excellent. What about impatient? Give me another one for impatient instead of just tapping your feet. When else do you feel impatient? What else do you do? When you bite your nails. Uh -huh. you when you, excellent. When you bite your nails, you feel impatient. Okay. So now, these are the way you feel because of the gestures. So the gestures will reflect all of these adjectives of how you feel, okay? So this was an example. Now we're gonna go with other examples using the live worksheets that I love so much, I, as you can see. But I'm not gonna go with the easy ones here. I'm gonna go with a little bit more complex. I'm gonna take new ones, because the idea is for you to go over new vocabulary. Okay, so let's do an exercise here. So, but before I do the exercise, I want you to look at this part of the, so from this one, do you know what all these words are? I want you to go over them and tell me which ones are new for you. For example, tactful would be a new one for you. Yes, it is new. Okay. What, what it means. What does yes. it mean? What do you guys think is tactful? 
when you talk with care carefully well, to something, someone. Uh -huh. Tactful. Mm -hmm. It's when you're sensitive, when you're considerate. It's when you talk to people in a nice way. You're not being very careful on how you approach to that person or how you talk to that person. That is tactful. Okay? So it's to be considerate or to be sensitive. That is tactful. Okay, very good. What else? Any other word? Daring. What is daring? Which one? Sorry? Daring. 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 Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and look it up. I want you to go by synonyms. So it's adventurous or intrepid. So it's somebody that goes for it without thinking it once or twice. So they just go for it. They just do it. Wow, you're so daring. For example, imagine yourself going bungee jumping or skydiving all of a sudden. So, wow, you're daring. Como tienes valor, eres atrevido. Mm -hmm. Teacher, oh, in, yeah, that's daring. in the history, uh, the exists the daring day. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, that is people um, the drives their motorcycles in a different way and throw the sky uh, with cars on the floor and something like that. It's true, yeah. Actually, what you're saying. So daring is it's that is that sensation of adrenaline and just going for it without being scared of doing it. That's what it is. Okay, mm -hmm. that's daring. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So any other word from here? Because I want you to find the synonyms. Okay. This is an exercise that I want us to do together. So we have a drop down menu. And then the idea is for us to find the synonyms and find out if they're right. Find synonyms, okay, one with another. For example, I'm gonna start with the first one, brave. What would be a synonym for brave? From the list. What is another way of saying brave? Like you said, daring, maybe. Daring for me, daring. Daring? Okay, brave. Let's go with daring. Okay, let's do it here. What about optimistic? Negative. Negative? Synonym. Positive. 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 Okay, very good. What about quiet? Um... Discreet. Mm, and and from the list, I, the drop down menu that I have here. From the drop down menu that I have here. Tactful. Tactful. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Modest. Or modest. Maybe no, modest. 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 Okay. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna find out. What about bored? Maybe annoy. Blue, blue. Oh, or blue. Okay. Blue. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's find out. What about nasty? What about nasty? Uh, annoying. 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 Okay. What about sad? Oh, sad is blue. Sorry. Sad is better with blue. And bored is something different. Let's do it this way and let's add blue here. Okay, sad and blue. Mm -hmm. Yes, sad is more like blue. Okay, what about cheerful? Enthusiastic. 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 What about smart? Clever. Clever. Okay, let's go ahead. Find out. 
clever, okay? What about puzzled? <clears throat> Confused. Confused. What about just? It's okay, we can leave it and then we can check at the end, okay? So it's not necessary for you to know the answers right now. In case you don't know. Just. Oh, let's change just for something else. Let's change just for... I know I have two for already. Let's change just for... Nasty? I have it already. I have all of them, so that would be the last one. What about smart? Let's go with smart. Clever. Clever and discreet? Most. Most. And just, what would be a synonym for you? Fair. Fair, okay. What about bored? Maybe. I'm sorry? It may be exhausted or quiet. It's not in the list. Oh, it's not in the list. Okay. Um, quiet, you said, or? Let's try fed up. Let's try this one. I want to see, then again, we're not going to pay attention on the gray. We're just going to pay attention on the green and reds, okay? Let's find a way. Let's find out which ones we, ooh, see? So remember, we ha you have to remember because I'm going to go back, so we're going to do it. So what about cheerful, puzzled, just, discreet, and smart? Oh, no, I have it here. What do you guys think? Cheerful uh, can be the of what is that? one out of ten. <laughs> Don't worry about the grade. We're just going over this. One. Teacher, can you click on the no? Please, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, see? What was our, ah, okay, our word? Yeah. It would have been glad. <laughs> so, so cheerful. Sorry. No, it's okay. Cheerful would have been glad. Okay? In case you oh. want to write it. Uh -huh. So you can write cheerful, glad. What about puzzled? Mm -hmm. This was a tricky one. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Oh, no, no, no. That's not for this. Is not for this one. I think it's for cheerful. It's glad. For puzzled, it's enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. For just, it would be tactful. Hmm. Tactful. Let's go ahead. Let me find out something. Hold on. Mm -hmm. It's to be fair, it's to be even handed, impartial. And what was the question? What was the one here? Tactful. No, it seemed you know what it seemed? It seems for me that these are opposites, like this one is opposite, for example, puzzled. 
it's like when you have a lot of doubts, it's a puzzle. You don't know how to resolve it and you have a lot of doubts. So if I say puzzle and confused, for me are synonyms, so they're correct. Yeah. So the opposite of confused could be enthusiastic. Yes, could be. But for me, this is, this is wrong. So the system is wrong. So you guys are right because for me, this is right. Confused and puzzle, it's correct. Mm. Just and uh -huh. so don't worry about the system for me this is correct and also just and fair go along because for me tactful it's to be careful in what you say no it has sense. nothing to, uh -huh. it doesn't really make sense with being justo being justo as just and being justo as fair because both are the same fair and fair in different contexts right but they're justo discreet and modest let's find out with this one Discreet and fair mm, doesn't really make sense to me also because discreet is um, maybe discreet let's find out mm. maybe tactful when somebody is tactful mm -hmm. see it's when you're careful when you're cautious when you are um when you are a <clears throat> yeah at a low profile so that's to be discreet that is discreet but here fair is nothing has nothing to do with discreet so i'm sorry this doesn't go with the okay so maybe for discreet yes maybe tactful to be careful with very good mm -hmm. i would go with tactful and then the last one, smart and clever. Yeah, for me, both are, are synonyms. Both are correct synonyms. Confused? No. 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 <laughs> Makes no sense, too. Okay. Well, the idea of the extra, I'm sorry, maybe there's a glitch. You see, things are sometimes not perfect. So that's why I like to go over it with you. So in, in the end, this is the idea. It's for you to get Let's more vocabulary. You know, <laughs> To get more vocabulary new words yes. now we have new words like tactful and we have other words right because we don't we yes. didn't know just for example or just or tactful or also is something new. Mm -hmm, discreet for example mm -hmm. so there's more words for you okay what i will do uh, then again is send you the link for you to do all these worksheets where, which are really cool then again don't worry if you don't get 10 sometimes there's glitches like on this one okay there can be mistakes but always whenever you look for worksheets try to do worksheets that are new for you don't go with basic ones try to uh, work with worksheets that have a level of difficulty that way you with a level of difficulty you learn more vocabulary and you learn more structure okay so it's good that you always go and check out the worksheets one by one to check out which ones are that which ones are basic? If the words here, some of them you don't know, then go for it. But if all the words from, from the worksheet, you know them by heart and you have used them. So, you know, the idea is with worksheets is for you to learn more words, new words, not for you just to review the ones that you already know. Okay. So for example, here we have hysterical, jealous, frustrated, disgusted, peaceful, um, terrified. Let's see. Embarrassed um lonely furious so if there's words among the list of vocabulary that are new for you then go for it pessimistic and so on also another one that i wanted to share with you was this feeling wheel with this feeling wheel that i'm going to share on the whatsapp group it, i want you to do the following the exercise is depending on how you feel i want you to start using other words for example if i tell you guys how you feel today and you're gonna tell me, oh, I'm happy, or I am tired, or I'm sad. But instead of using the basic words that are in the center of the of the circle, of the wheel of the fortune, so start going with the ones that are more uh, likely new to you. For example, you say, oh, today I feel happy, but I feel powerful, or I feel proud because I finished the project, or I feel uh, curious because I, I'm, I'm working on something and I haven't finished. Or I feel angry, you know, I feel in a, annoyed because I had this. So you see, 
try to use not the word itself, the basic angry word or happy word, but try to use other synonyms, okay? I'll be sharing this wheel with you. That way you have more vocabulary with you as well, okay? Okay, Cocotator, so. Okay, teacher, thank you. As always, a pleasure having you in my class. Thank you so much for joining and for being so responsible. Um, work on the platform if you can, okay? We have this week, we're almost finishing this week and we just have next week and then, right? We comply with our four weeks now, right? Our next week is our last week? Yes. Oh, time flies with you guys, okay? So I'll see you tomorrow, same time. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good, Good night, night everyone. Good, Good night. night. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Later. <laughs>